Now, when we stop drinking alcohol, I can guarantee you one thing, unless you live in a cave and never go outside, but you will get offered a drink by somebody at some point. That's 1000% going to happen. It might be a friend, you might be in an Italian restaurant and the owner comes and offers you a limoncello. You are going to get offered drinks at some point in your life. But what exactly do you do? What do you do when somebody offers you a drink? Well, what I'm gonna do for you in this video is I'm gonna break down a few different scenarios and a few different types of drinkers that will offer you a drink and what to do with each scenario and each individual and what approach you should take. So if you have already stopped drinking, you're gonna learn something in this video. Also, if you're trying to stop drinking, you're gonna learn something in this video. Because at the end of the day, I think that this can be the thing that if people don't get their head around these ideas, this can be the thing that actually causes most people to fail. Some people will fail off their own accord. They might go, you know, buy a bottle of wine and drink it on their own. But for most people, they're gonna be in a moment of weakness where somebody offers them a drink, they say yes, and then everything just comes crumbling down. That's the experience that I've had in the past. So this is very close to my heart. But listen, you make sure to watch this video in full. You will love it. And just before we get into it, if you actually want my help stopping drinking and you want to join the Sober Clear program where we use first principles thinking and we use coaching to really focus on the future so you don't need AA and willpower and rehab and therapy, click the link in the description book a call with me, we can get on a phone call, see if this program could be a good idea for you. And on that call, I'll actually give you the roadmap and the system and how all my clients are getting results. I'll explain the process that we go through together. So you'll get a ton of value from that call. Click the link in the description to book one of those. Now let's get back into the video. So as I was explaining before, if we don't get this right, so many people will fail. And like I said, this was how I have failed in the past. It would be rare that I was, you know, on my journey trying to stop drinking alcohol and I would go and buy, you know, a six pack of beer and relapse that way. Usually I'd be with some company, I'd be in a place like a bar or something like that. I'd be in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong person in the wrong state of mind and boom, I'd end up drinking again. Now, I've told you guys this story many times, but I stopped drinking for nine months and I went to a New Year's Eve party and, you know, it was, I was sober and life was going well and I felt so confident and it was, you know, I was talking to people. But as that night progressed, I really started seeing alcohol was a good thing again. And, you know, the person that I was with offered me a drink and, you know, I don't blame him, you know, he was just doing what any other person would do in his situation, but I ended up drinking. If I wasn't with that person, would have I drank? Quite possibly, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna blame that person, but if I knew what I knew today, I would have handled that situation completely differently. Because for me, I still held on to the idea that I would have enhanced my life, I would have enhanced that night, I would have enhanced that occasion if I had a drink in my hand, compared to if I was sober. Like I was starting to see alcohol was a good thing again, and there was this switch that happened, which made me end up drinking again. You know, these days, obviously, I I would just would never have taken the drink because I don't see a benefit to drinking it anymore. I've fully changed my mindset. Which leads me into the next part of the video. And there are really three scenarios that you are likely to deal with when people are offering you drinks. So let's break down the first scenario. The first scenario is, let's just say, you know, you've stopped drinking, it's been a few days, a few weeks, and you meet up with a buddy. And, you know, it gets to the conversation of the drinking and you tell this friend, David, Mary, I've stopped drinking. I'm done with it. I'm not going back. You know, I feel great. And that friend is like, that's awesome. Like, good on you. I've been thinking about doing it as well. How is it? Oh, tell me more. And this friend will be nothing but supportive. They may continue drinking if they if that's what they do, but they never offer you a drink. They're fully supportive and they're a great friend. Now, that person might not stop drinking. They might not follow in your footsteps, but you never have to deal with them directly. Now, I'm telling you, these are the people that you should hold on to. These are your true friends. Like, I really found that there were a handful of people in my life that were just 100% supportive of this decision. And I'm still friends with them today. Not saying you're gonna have to cut people out of your life, but I'll, I'll break that down further into the video. But for these individuals, you're never gonna have to explain yourself. You're never gonna have to tell them, you know, oh no, I'm okay today or anything. You, you're just never gonna have to do anything. They're gonna be fully on board with your decision and they are just very supportive, good people. Now, not everybody's gonna be like that, which moves me into scenario two. The next scenario is, you stop drinking, you meet up with your friend, you tell them that you've stopped drinking. And at first, they seem supportive. They're like, oh, that's great, you know, awesome, awesome. Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop, I'm fine, but that's cool. So on the surface, they look like they're going to support you. But then as, as time goes on and you spend more time with this person and you might go out for a few times here and there, they start kind of dropping hints where, oh, I mean, why don't you just have a couple? You know, uh, your problem is you, you drink spirits, you should drink beer, uh, you know, don't take life too seriously. That's something that somebody in the Sober Clear program recently said to me. He said that a friend was like, don't take life so seriously. 
seriously. Now, these are the individuals that you've really got to watch out for. I'm not saying they're bad people or anything like that, but you need to have your wits about you, right? If they're kind of saying, oh, that's great, you know, you stopped drinking, that's awesome, I'll support you, but then later on down the line, they're kind of offering you a drink. Oh, go on, why don't we just have one tonight? In my eyes, this is a warning sign, and you need to be very aware of what's going on when you're around those people. Because one day you might not be in a good mood. You might be feeling tired. You might be feeling angry. Something bad might have happened with your, with your family. And today's the day where you're feeling weak and you get around that person. And they're not like the first person that I spoke about. These people, they, you know, they're not gonna kind of stop you if you were gonna say, I'm gonna drink. They're not gonna talk to you through it. They'd just be like, yeah, whatever. For a lot of people out there, alcohol doesn't impact them in a hugely negative way. So they don't see the consequence always of if you were to drink, what's gonna happen six months from now? Because they've kind of had things, you know, not too bad for a long time. So we can't blame those people, but we have to be aware of them. We have to acknowledge that that's how they may behave. And we need to be armed with information, with a worldview that is much stronger than theirs. Because that's the problem. What happens is we end up getting caught up with an individual that has a strong worldview that sees alcohol as a good thing. Now, if we are not solid with the way that we see alcohol, if we don't see it as something that is doing nothing for us, when we meet this individual, their frame can be stronger, we can be in a moment of weakness, and then all of a sudden, we drink again. Now, the reality is, is that we need to do the first principles thinking. We need to be 100% certain in our worldview. So when we meet these individuals that will look for those moments of weakness and kind of say, oh, why don't we just have one or two? You need to be stronger than them. You need to be more firm in your understanding of alcohol of what it is and what it doesn't do for you than they are of what they think that it could do for you. And it's why I say, you know, first principles thinking and mindset and really understanding alcohol for what it is, is the absolute foundation of this journey. You need to be all in, you need to be committed, and you need to be 100% certain that you see alcohol as ethanol. So just be wary around these people, be aware, and don't give in. Which leads me to the third scenario. And the third scenario of individual are those people that, I mean, from the moment that you tell them that you're not gonna drink, it's just like, what are you talking about? And I mean, these people are rare. They usually have quite big drinking problems themselves, but I had to deal with those people at the beginning. And I'm just gonna be honest, I avoided those people. I just kind of was like, well, you're not gonna support me. I mean, we drank together, cool, but are you really my friend? Probably not. And my approach was probably extreme, but I just avoided those individuals. The ones that were not supportive in any way, they really didn't wanna see me do it. I just had to distance myself. Now yeah, you might be in a position where that individual's your partner. That individual's a very close friend that you've been friends with for a long time. And maybe you're not in a situation where you can just walk away from that relationship. But again, it goes back to my previous point. Sure, that person can push it on you and, and, and kind of talk down to you. But as long as you've got that worldview, as long as you are 100% convinced that alcohol does nothing for you, you can deal with those people. It doesn't really matter what they say. They can say whatever they want. As long as your action is to not drink a drink, despite whatever you're dealing with in this relationship, that's the only thing that matters. And the only way that you can do that is by seeing alcohol for what it is. Now, what can happen over time as a result of you getting on this journey and not drinking alcohol is these relationships can start shifting. That's what happened in my life. You know, the people that I told you that I avoided at the beginning, I didn't really go back and like try and re you know, refix any of these relationships because I started changing. I started changing who I was. I started getting different interests, different hobbies, and different people came into my life. Now, the people that I explained in scenario two, the people that you should be aware of, well, again, I didn't like cut these people out, but naturally I just started drifting away from them as I started getting, you know, different interests and, and so on. So you can expect your relationships over time to change. And actually let me know in the comments if you found something like that, leave me a comment down below. That'd be really cool to hear how your relationships have changed. But the first scenario that I spoke about, those people are true to you, those people love you, they wanna see you do well. They're the people that you should be friends with and keep them in your support network because they can be a valuable, valuable, valuable resource along this journey. But the underlying message of any of these scenarios is just say no, just don't take the drink. Continue with your decision to be a non-drinker. You're gonna deal with this no matter what. And like I said, if you want my help, let's book a call, let's have a conversation, click the link in the description. Have a great day.